Hey everybody, I'm Steve Moore, owner of Run More, Carroll County's premier running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Uh, today we're going to do a shoe review on the brand new shoe from Ultra called the Duo. It comes out in April of 2018, sort of their first attempt at a really big cushion neutral shoe. You know, a lot of people are familiar with like a Hoka, like a Hoka Clifton, which is a really popular shoe, won pretty much every award you can win out there in that category. This is Ultra's first attempt to sort of dip their toe into those waters. If you're not familiar with Ultra, awesome company, founded out in Utah. Um, really, really nice big wide forefoot, zero platform, tons of technology going on in these shoes. Um, so today we're going to talk about some of the differences between the new Hoka Duo and the Clifton from Hoka, just to give you a little bit of information about both so you can make the right decision on what shoe is right for you. Um, so on the Hoka, excuse me, on the Ultra Duo, first thing I noticed coming out of the box, super light. It looks so big. It looks like something you'd put on if you were working at a construction site. It looks like a work boot. Um, but walking around in it, I was super impressed with how light and airy it felt. Coming in at less than nine ounces at 8.7 ounces on the guy side, um, 7.4 ounces on the female side, it provides you with a lot of cushion without being a big brick on your foot like some shoes in that category. I also liked how nice and wide it was. I know that's Ultra's thing, but there's some Ultra shoes that even for me don't feel quite wide enough, and this certainly does that. My last pair of Clifton 4s, I had to go to a wide width. I don't measure wide, but I needed the width on the shoe, and I just couldn't get it from the standard width. The Ultra shoes only come in one width, and it's perfectly great for me. I can let my toes wiggle and do their jobs and still feel like I, I'm not sloppy in the shoe, and that's a nice thing in it. Other thing I really like about this shoe is the heel cup. For anybody who's been around Ultra for a long time, that has been sort of a, a nuisance in a lot of their shoes, is that the heel never feels like you're quite secure. You know, you have this nice, big, beautiful, wide toe box, but you don't feel that good on the heel. You feel like you're stepping out of it in some of the shoes. They really seem to fix that. You can kind of see how nice and turned in this is. It really hugs you. Um, I never felt like I was slipping, sliding, any type of rub. Um, I, I'm an 11 and a half in most shoes. I was a perfect 11 and a half in this. Um, some other stuff from Ultra, the sizes have varied quite widely. Um, and we've dealt with that a good bit here, trying to figure out which is the right Ultra size based on each person because every model seems to have its own little differences in sizing. Perfect sizing, perfect heel cup, really enjoyed the feel of it. Walking around in it, um, unlike some of the stuff that was coming out of Hoka recently, which is a little more firm, this is super soft. I can feel myself sort of sinking into the shoe. You know, a lot of the cushion, big cushion shoes, you almost feel like you're on top of it. It's like I've got all this protection, but I'm just sitting on top of it. Now with this, you actually can feel yourself sinking into it and surrounding yourself, like you're inside of a cloud, like you're in this nice, bubbly, warm, soft cloud. And it feels really good on your feet. And the fact that the heel feels so nice makes it that much better. I also could feel the big difference going from a shoe that has a five millimeter heel to toe drop to a zero heel to toe drop, like all ultra shoes. Walking around, running in this shoe, you can feel like you want to get on your heel a little bit more, but with the zero platform of the Ultra, the whole goal is to get you to land a little more midfoot. And you can tell the differences between this and the, and the Hoka shoe. This is getting you to land more on your midfoot, which I like. That's where you want to be landing. I really enjoy the way that's getting me about my proper, my proper position while I'm running. One area I'm still a little worried about with this shoe, though, is the durability. Some Ultra shoes can last a long time and some break down a little bit faster. I notice shoes that are a little bit softer tend to go faster. Um, I do like the outer on this though. It looks a little more rugged than, than the outer, the r -mat outer on some of the, t on the uh, Clifton's from Hoka. So we'll see. We'll see how the durability looks like on this. So far though, walking around it, I really enjoyed this shoe. At $130, great price point. Great for somebody who wants to land a little more midfoot, who needs a little more cushion, who wants that protection of a nice big shoe like this, but still wants something light that doesn't want to have a 10, 12 ounce neutral shoe. Great shoe for you to come in and try. Uh, maybe somebody who used to like the Hoka's that felt that they may be getting too firm over the years. We get that a lot. We have people that come in here looking for old model Hoka's because they were much softer back in the day than they are now. So somebody who may have loved Hoka's back in the day and that soft feeling, but don't like the new stuff, this would be a great shoe for you to come in and try. Um, available on our website at letsrunmore.com slash store. If you enter the promo code RUNMORE, you get free shipping on your order. So check it out. Stop by our local running store that carries Ultra and try out the new Ultra Duo. Thank you so much. We'll see you next month with a new review.